Hot chicken is all the rage today thanks to people who want to spice up their dining adventures. And Nashville is at the epicenter all thanks to a festival every year and all sorts of places opening up that specialize in hot bird. Well, many experts will tell you you haven't had hot chicken until you've had it from a place called Princess. It's a third generation hot chicken shack heralded as the best by a loyal following. Yes, sir. Make mine chicken. Well, Percy, I hope it hadn't killed anybody yet, but it's definitely not for everybody. That is for sure. Unless you're a fan of hot chicken proclaimed best in town by a former mayor. When it comes to Nashville hot chicken, this place set the bar and wrote the book. Well, actually, Timothy Charles Davis wrote the book, but Prince's Hot Chicken Shack is prominently featured, along with the story of how Thornton Prince started the legend back in the 1930s. His grandniece, Andre Prince Jeffries, oversees the spicy bird business nowadays. She's got hordes of customers hooked. Some of them come every day, and they load up on it on the weekend so they can have it on Sunday and Monday when we're closed. For decades now, Prince's has been tucked away in the shopping strip just off Dickerson Road. Thank you, Thank you. you place your order at a small window where there's no question what you want, it's how you want it. Plain for kids, of course. Mild, medium, hot, extra hot, or... Don't say we didn't warn you. Next comes the hard part, anticipation. Now, they don't cook it until you order it, so it. be prepared to wait a good while for your scorching adventure. While there are some kitchen secrets, the basic recipe is pretty well known. It's marinated, dipped in a flour spice mix before it's deep fried. Finally, it gets a homemade sauce and lots of cayenne pepper. How do you make it mild versus medium versus well, hot? We got our little way. If I tell you everything, <laughs> then I won't be in business. You'll be. <laughs> Here we are: white bread, pickles, medium hot wings. Oh boy! That's really hot. It's good, but it's hot. I can see why mild is the recommended heat level for first timers, unless you're an experienced hot food fan. I got extra hot, yeah, and it's mighty hot. Got the good burning sensation, um, uh, not only on the lips, but uh, also um, on the tongue. Most women are the ones that eat it consistently extra hot. Women. Oh, some other tips for your first hot chicken adventure. Get plenty of napkins, and after you start eating the stuff, don't dare touch your eyes. Ooh, I know one man, he just turned over the benches. He was trying to get up to go get his hands washed and everything. He just, we just heard benches turning over. My goodness, he's a big man too. Oh my God. These college guys came all the way from Indiana to do lunch here. And it was love at first hot bite for this guy. Freaking amazing. I really love this. I'm glad I made a four hour trip to get here. <laughs> like, oh my God, it's still that good. This is, I'm happy. Andre hears a lot of interesting and crazy comments about the effects of her hot chicken. And one man said it took the hair off his chest. <laughs> Somebody else said he put the hair on his chest. I tell you the truth. Now, according to Andre, Princess Hot Chicken might have helped the Cleveland Browns win a football game here in Nashville. They bought their bus down here, and they loaded up when they were playing the Titans. And guess who won? The Cleveland Browns. Why? Because they ate it hot. Hey, they gave them some drive. They want. Hey, they that perks you up. <laughs> even a theory that hot chicken can help pregnant women who are overdue. If they're late, get them some hot. That'll disturb the baby and make them want to come on out of there. Yeah, they come on out of there. Andre's daughter, Simone, works here full time and other relatives pitch in, which spells promise for addicted Prince fans 
We're gonna need that hot chicken fix way into the future. That's my motivation. That just gives me the, the, the energy to keep on going, seeing these faces, and like I say, some of them every day. Every day seeing some of these faces, and it is really gratifying. This is the best chicken I've ever had. That is really hot. <laughs> That's really hot. But uh, I love this place. Oh my god. <laughs>